Hello and welcome to this special edition of Nightcast. Today I'll be talking to Eduardo Verastegui, actor and producer, about his new film, Sound of Freedom. Eduardo, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Making a movie about child trafficking is not the kind of thing someone would think would make great theater. But nonetheless, you've decided to make this movie. Maybe you could say something about what it is that moved you to have to make this movie. I met Tim Ballard in Los Angeles, California, eight years ago. I met him with his friends. These guys uh, are ex-Navy SEALs, ex-FBI agents, ex-CIA agents. And when I learned what they were doing, these people travel around the world undercover, rescuing children. When they explain it in details, what these children are going through, the pain, the suffering, I couldn't sleep. I was, in one hand, I was very inspired to meet a true, a true American heroes. But in the other hand, I was in shock. And I remember when Tim looked at me and he said, Eduardo, it's very sad what I'm telling you. But it's more sad. But it's more sad now that you know it. If you do nothing, I wanted to do something. I didn't know what. So I asked this question. You know, I asked God, what can I do? I want to join this army. I want to end child trafficking. I started asking questions. You know, these conversations were very long. I was learning more and more and more about what child trafficking is to understand what this evil is doing to millions of children around the world. Team Matter told me this is a global problem. It's happening everywhere, especially US and Mexico. US is the number one consumer of child sex in the world. Mexico is the number one provider. And I said, okay, Tim, hold on a second. How come United States, the most powerful country in the world, you have the money, the intelligence, technology, army, the police, everything. How come we don't finish this problem? And he said to me, Eduardo, because he's not a priority. We are not the solution. What do you mean you're not the solution? You, you, you rescued thousands of children. Listen, I can be the solution for one child. And of course, you save one child, you save the world. Thank God we've been rescuing thousands of children. But we're not the solution to end this terrible reality because we're talking about millions of children. We need a movement. This is beyond us. This is too big. So we need a movement because if this thing is not a priority for the American government, neither for the, for other governments in other countries, then what we need to do is to create a movie because movies have the potential to move people. Movies raise awareness in a massive way. And that's when I understood, okay, this is my calling. I have a, I have a weapon. I have a weapon of mass instruction and inspiration. Films, as I said before, movies can move people. So I decided to put pause in everything that I was doing at that time, forget about every other projects, so I can dedicate my entire life. I made a promise to God that I will dedicate my entire life to M. Child trafficking. It's not just about the film only, it's about the movement. And the film is part of that movement that already started. This is a global problem, and for a global problem, you need global solutions, and this film, it will be seen by millions around the world. Finally, after eight years of work, uh, the movie is coming out July 4th. This is a very important week because we're celebrating in United, in United States Independence Day, freedom. Yes, in one hand, we should celebrate freedom, but in the other hand, we should do something to bring freedom back to those children that that day, unfortunately, won't be able to celebrate freedom. And that's the message that we're sending to everyone. What are people, what can they do? They're going to see this film, hopefully, going to be touched by it like you are. They're going to go home and wrestle with God and say, God, what do you want me to do? What, what are the kinds of things people can do to create a movement? I didn't see a movie. I heard a story from someone eight years ago, and I was moved to the point that I canceled everything that I was doing so I can dedicate my life to do a film. That was my reaction, right? I'm a filmmaker. I'm an actor. I'm going to make a movie. I'm going to act, and then I'm going I'm to use the movie as an instrument to raise awareness and to create a movement, right? I hope that when people see the movie, we'll have the same reaction that I had eight years ago, that they will ask themselves, what can I do? I don't want to put limits on this is what you should do. Well, of course, I will, I will ask you, please go and see the movie. But that's the beginning only of the journey. Go and see the movie, July 4th. We are David with five stones, right? And Goliath has the power. If I believe that my efforts, my human efforts will be enough 
to succeed, I'm already failed. But if I'm doing this because God's children are not for sale, and because I love God and I love people, especially those who are most vulnerable, children. And if I say, I go after you in the name of God because I put my faith in God, that's how we become that David. And we know how this story ends. Let me tell you something. When I finished the film five years ago, for three years, every studio passed. Talking about patience and talking about faith and, and, and talking about you know perseverance, I, I was very, you know, very close to give up. It was three years waiting, and after, you know, it's eight years of work, and you know, the people love the movie, but the professional distributors, they don't. For some reason, they think that this is not for them because it's not a business for them, right? And then next thing you know, I received a phone call from Angel Studios. Because of them, uh, this movie now is going to come out in more than 2,500 theaters. I hope it's going to be 3,000 theaters uh, July 4th. This is huge. This is big. And you know why this is happening? Because of the people are responding. They're, they're buying tickets. They're, they're visiting our website, uh, Sound of Freedom Movie dot com and you can learn there what can you do to buy tickets for you for your family or for others who cannot afford tickets through the program pay it forward and because of the people responding and and and, and buying tickets in these pre-sales we started with 200 theaters 500 theaters 1000 theaters now we're close to 3000 theaters this is a miracle this is amazing i mean the miracle is happening right now in our faces and 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 we wanted Fourth of July, July Fourth, because it's Independence Day. It's a lot of symbolism. Thank you, Eduardo. You know, I got to see the movie thanks to you. And are you happy with how it turned out in terms of this difficult topic, but making people able to to see it and learn it? No one has to, you know, uh, we don't want people to walk out out of the theater because oh, this is too. It's going to be poetry. It's going to be claro school or like Rembrandt. You know, you see dark and then you see light coming. It's almost like the symbolism of of this invisible fight between good and evil. It's full, the entire movie is full of that. You can put pause in it in, in any scene and you're going to see this Claro School of Rembrandt um, light in the darkness. Eduardo, congratulations on the movie. Thank you so much for your time. And we look forward to seeing this movie July 4th, The Sound of Freedom. God's children are not for sale. Thank you very much and God bless you.